John, John Musil, how are you? Greg Steer. All right, have long, a seat. Long time no see. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, got a couple quick questions. I got edamame right here, which is a, uh, a, a great protein source. Okay. And I heard also has got estrogen, which I don't know how to feel about that. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I should eat Interesting. it. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Protein Pro and other stuff. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's anyway, great. That's great. How can I help you, John? Well, I, I've got a couple of In this questions. spontaneous, unplanned conversation. Unplanned. Very unplanned. Why are you so loud? He's got no voice modulation. No, I do not. <laughs> What's up? I got five questions for you. You do? Yeah. First okay. question for this interview. What is your favorite sport? Um, I'm torn between... Watching the Denver Broncos. Tebow! Uh, and um, UFC. Is that bad? Oh, no, I love no, Ultimate that's, Fighting that's Champion. I, it reminds me of, it makes me want to read the Old Testament. But it just gets, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's true. Specific passages in the Old Testament. That's yes, right, that's all right. right. Specifically Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. maybe. I don't Joshua. know. Yes, that's right. All right. If you were to run for president, oh. president, huh? What would your theme be? My theme, my theme would be. Wow, man, this this is spontaneous. What would my theme be? My theme would be, um, we why don't we work on Labor Day? I mean, <laughs> literally, it's Labor Day. Why would you take Labor Day off? Yeah, it's Labor Day. My theme would be, we're gonna work on Labor Day and take the rest of the days off. Yeah. yeah! Woo. Okay, I like I like that. I might actually vote for you. No. All right. Why should youth leaders yes. seriously bring? Their students out to game day. Game day, please don't do that. Oh, all right. So um, <laughs> the the uh, game day conference we just got uh, finished with three days of intensive uh, rehearsals with propaganda, uh, aka Jason Betty, Zane Black, and myself, and the rest of the team. It I think it's going to be the most powerful training experience by God's grace and we've ever done. And uh, they're going to get a crash course in um, the Word of God. Uh, how you articulate the gospel as a love story and uh, apologetics hmm. uh, that doesn't leave bruises, that actually works. Because too many times I think we use apologetics to beat people up. And we need to have a different kind of apologetics that loves people in. Hmm. And they're going to get unleashed for the cause, and they're going to evangelize, and we're going to have a great drama, a great theme and s slogans you're going to see when we get there. But uh, it's And Brenton Brown's going to rock the house with worship. So, I mean, it's just going to be a powerful, not a... I love Jesus, how about you, uh, Pep Riley, but a training and equipping and mobilizing, inspiring, fun, but super transformational on that. Hmm. I really do. Just speaking of transformational, I'll just wrap the last questions yeah. into one. Transformation, and hearing that word, transformation. Yep. How does evangelism transform students into disciples? Yeah, that's great. And evangelism, I believe, is the missing key in our discipleship strategies. Too many times we think, well, if my kids get trained enough, if they go through a book enough, then they're going to be ready to evangelize. Listen, uh, what happens is when students evangelize, they want to read, they want to study, mm -hmm. and they're risking something. They're risking their friendships. And yeah. so that's why at the Dare to Share conference, part of what we do is we not only train students to evangelize, but we actually have them connect with their friends via texting and cell phone, uh, and actually engage people with the gospel because we believe it is the best discipleship accelerator there is as a practice is to get students to share their faith. It makes them pray. Mm. It makes them study the word. It makes them sacrifice. So, I mean, I think uh, that's what we do at Dare to Share. That's how we roll. So, be here January 20th, 21st, Washington, D.C. Rock the cause. What he said. <laughs>